Hey guys, my name is James Scully. I'm a graphic designer, copywriter, photographer, and I also run a creative community called The Wall Breakers, www.thewallbreakers.com. But also, I'm a native Brooklynite, and I've lived in my life in Bensonhurst, Bay Ridge, Diker Heights, Park Slope, South Slope, Cobble Hill, Clinton Hill, Fort Greene, Bed-Stuy, Bushwick. I've lived in so many places in Brooklyn, and I feel so much that the energy of Brooklyn courses through my veins. I couldn't imagine calling any other place a home. It's been my home my entire life. Um, I come from a single-parent household. My mother was 22 when she had me. My father dropped out of the picture, something I have a lot of empathy towards him for now as a 29-year-old man. I can see why somebody would do that. But I grew up in a household with 10 family members, with my grandparents, my great-grandparents. I had an aunt who was my grandma's younger sister, a family dog. I was raised by three generations of women, and uh, because I didn't have one central male heroic figure like a father to look up to growing up, I had to basically figure out for myself who I wanted to be as a man and what kind of heroic figures that I should emulate, men or women, it didn't really matter in that way. And growing up in a place like Brooklyn, that's such a tough, hard kind of place to go to school where kids are always making fun of each other. Nobody wants to be vulnerable because vulnerability means that, you know, you're showing weakness. When we all know that actually vulnerability means that you show strength because you're willing to be vulnerable. Um, but through this upbringing, going to public school until I was in high school, then going to a Jesuit Catholic high school, then going to Pratt Institute for college to go to school for communications design, I have such a wide breadth of uh, understanding of what it's like to be a Brooklynite. And also, just, I, I give a damn. I really do. I, I give a damn about what's going on in society and how we can make our lives better for each other. And for TEDx Bushwick and Collaborative Communication, I'd like to champion a union of mentorship and roundtable discussion programs. Um, you think about things like the Brooklyn Brainery or uh, TED itself. And now they're putting things like this together. Creative mornings, that's another one that comes to my mind immediately. People are communicating with each other. And you could never have too much of a, um, too many of these things going on at the same time. We, we should be communicating with each other as much as possible. One of my big male mentors was a guy named Studs Terkel, who was born in Brooklyn but lived most of his life in Chicago. And he wrote books like Working, and uh, he was somebody who on his deathbed said that he wanted to be remembered as a man who brought trouble where trouble was needed. That resonated with me very, very concisely. And in 2012, I was stagnant in my career, or feeling so, as a graphic designer and launched a creative community called The Wall Breakers, like I mentioned earlier, to help connect people to, I guess in the end, I learned how to be a conduit because when you shut down Facebook and you just look around at life and you remember that, oh wait, social media, this crap, it, it's not real. What's real is a human connection. We all have skills and stories. We all want to tell our stories to each other. And when we do that, when we communicate, when we build a community with each other, those fears that we put in our minds when we don't know things, the fear of the unknown itself, it goes away. And then we realize that insecurity is pointless and vulnerability doesn't lead to bad things. It actually leads to strength and confidence and, and learning who we are on the inside and self-awareness. And I think it's incredibly important for the community of Bushwick and the outer lying areas in Brooklyn as well, that we continue to share our stories with each other. Some of us are doing bad, some of us are doing good. We all have our own experiences and we can tie them to each other concisely just by getting together, by talking about all of the things that we want, which is, to me, inner peace, uh, financial stability, uh, to have passion and to have our passion satiated, which creates more drive, to love and to give love. and. The more we do that, the more we sit and we talk to each other, the more we can develop a mentorship program or we can sit and say, hey, man, you know, my tax bracket was this this year. I'm really scared about these things. Oh, I just went to that last year and I found out these things by talking to my accountant. Boom. Communication, collaborative creativity. Society is a collaborative creation and we can choose regardless of what the politics are out there in the world, regardless of where your uh, – feelings lie, chances are we want similar things and we want to feel like the things that we know we are on the inside of us, we can have an outlet for them. We can learn more about them. We can partner with people who have similar skills. 
And union as a word is something that these days people shy away from. Oh no, a union, that's a, that's a bad, corrupt thing. But really, a term, union, is the joining of ideals and people. And to me, that's what I would love to champion under TED with TEDx Bushwick. A, a mentorship program where people can teach other people things and roundtable discussions where people can let those fears out. We all have them. When we let them out and we stop carrying them around on our shoulders, we see how much freer life is without them. I want to thank you for taking the time to listen to my video and, and read my information. I really appreciate the feedback from the first round and the, uh, I hope that this is a more concise, short video that helps describe what I'm trying to do and why this would be a great thing for the community of Bushwick. And I want to thank you. Have a great night.